Welcome back to the AI Driven Marketer. I'm Dan Sanchez. My friends call me Danchez. And today we're doing a deep dive on just one prompt. Yes, a single prompt that if you're a paid ChatGPT user, it's going to change the game for you. Yes, you're just going to take this one text and I'm going to load it into the show description. I'm going to read it in a second. But this one little paragraph, you put this in ChatGPT and walk through the process afterwards, it's going to change the game. I, 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 it's hard to measure these things, but I swear it's probably going to 10x the output that you're going to get from ChatGPT from the time you work this process forward, moving forward. And this idea hit me this week and I, I, I had to get it out into the world. Even though I had another show scheduled about SEO today, I'm like, I have to tell everybody about this one prompt. If there's nothing else you do in AI this week, just walk through this one process and I promise it will make things better going forward. So do this one thing, ignore everything else and just stop carve out 20 minutes to put in this one prompt and walk through the process and it will make your life in AI better in the future. So Dan, what's the one prompt? <laughs> it's a prompt to help AI learn more about you. Yes, ChatGPT launched a feature called Memory just back in spring, and some of us have started noticing the advantages of it. Yes, it remembers things about you. Every time you say an I statement or say like I'm X or I'm doing this, it usually takes it and even puts a little marker next to it that says up, up, Memory Updated. There's a whole little place in the settings where you can track your memories and delete things or add things or whatever. But honestly, a lot of us don't proactively do anything with it. It's just kind of passive. So what I... What occurred to me this weekend is that I need to develop a process to a prompt to kickstart AI asking me the right questions that it needs to know in order to help serve me better. As soon as it came to me, I wanted to play with it and engineer it and I actually co collaborated with AI to make this one prompt so that it can get what it needed in order to do better. So without further ado, let me dive into this prompt. I'm going to read it straight through and I'm going to talk about why it's important and why everybody needs to walk through this process like ASAP in order to really up level your game with AI. So here's the prompt. I'm going to show my screen, but I'm going to read it out loud for everybody listening on a podcast who's driving a car. <laughs> it says, I want you to understand me on a foundational level, gathering information that would be helpful across the br a broad range of future interactions and topics. Start by reviewing what you already know about me, if anything, and then build on that by asking questions that go beyond my current needs or immediate tasks. Focus on learning about my core values, preferences, long-term goals, and unique personal and professional characteristics. Your goal is to ask about things that once known will help you understand my perspective, decision-making style, and motivations in any context. Prioritize questions that would help you provide relevant and personalized support across multiple areas of life, not just immediate requests. Think about who I am holistically and ask what you ask what would help you <laughs> ask what would help you serve me well over time. That is the prompt. Put this in the chat GPT. If you already have a backlog of memories, it will have customized questions. If you're starting from scratch, this is still a great prompt to start with because otherwise it would take forever for it to learn all the critical things it would need to know about you. Now it can know it from day one or from today moving forward. My memory was already loaded with lots of information because I talked to AI all the time, but still, when it asked me questions, they were really, really good questions. It asked me questions about my work habits, my goals, my, my faith, because I've talked about my church and my involvement in, in church before. It asked me questions about my family since it knows I have kids and what I want work-life balance to look like. It asked me so many good questions. And I, that's why this process takes about 20 minutes, even though it's a simple prompt to just copy and paste into chat GPT, it's going to ask questions and then you have to answer said questions. I find it's easy to do if you just do it on your phone. This is how I did this process. I copied and pasted it into my phone app and just turned on the voice, like the, the voice recorder, not the conversational voice, but the one where you can just dictate it and it turns it into text for you. And I would answer a group, like two or three questions at a time and submit it and say more, more answers are coming. And every time I would submit it, it would update its memory and separate out my answers into the right thing, summarizing it for itself in the memory data bank. So let me show you, I'm gonna get personal. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what my conversation with, what, with AI, what it looked like. And so you can have an idea of what this conversation might look like for you. 
uh, a few caveats before we dive into that section is that you do need the paid subscription, like I said, and you do want to have this conversation with a, a vanilla 4.0, not with the custom GPT, not with uh, O1 Preview, even though it would make sense to do O1 Preview. O1 Preview can't update memory and it can't access memory for some reason. I, they're just kind of limiting that. Eventually, it'll all be intertwined, but for now... The vanilla 4.0 is the best model to have this conversation with. And I've had one friend test this. A shout out James Carberry. <laughs> His memory was already full. So if you find you run into the error of your your memory's full, go back and clear some less important memory in order to clear up room for these more important answers. Because these are core critical things that are long-term oriented. So you might want to do that. So here is my chat GPT. I'm going to go back to my screen and... I punched in this exact prompt that I'm giving to you. Remember that I'm going to put this prompt right in the show notes so you can copy and paste it right there. Go to show notes or go to the description down in YouTube. You don't have to click through or subscribe to an email list or anything like that. Just go to it and copy and paste it. Use it. You're welcome. Here's what mine looked like. It states that it said it appreciated the openness and building a deeper, more personalized understanding. Here's a summary of what I currently know. And it summarized multiple points. Professional, you're an independent marketing consultant specializing in AI marketing. And there was more there. You're a family family oriented with four children, one of whom is homeschooled. I actually homeschool two of them and two are too, too young still, but <laughs> you're married. Enjoy running and live in Chapel Hill. So let's see your value continue uh, what I value and interest it talked about my preferences so it had a pretty good understanding it had a good base understanding but there's more things that it doesn't know that's why it had in, in the in the prompt it needs to have based on what you already know about me so I can reference past memories so it doesn't ask questions that are redundant it asked me a number of different questions like are there specific principles or beliefs that guide you both per personally and professionally for instance the value what values do you pri prioritize when making decisions that impact others where do you see yourself in the next five to ten years professionally are there any projects or causes you're passionate about beyond marketing maybe <laughs> uh, it asked me about my decision making style how do you prefer to gather information and make decisions how would you describe your approach to risk taking especially in your career Ooh, good questions uh, beyond marketing are there other areas of your life you'd like to grow and develop in new new skills in how do you prioritize time for yourself your family and your career given your involvement in Grove Hill my church does your fa play, faith play a central role in your life if so how does it influence your personal and professional life in many ways. And then what else do we say? Are there people or mentors who have significant influence over your perspective or values? Mm. How important is your community to you, especially in your professional life? What would you say are your strongest skills or qualities? When when you're absorbing new information or diving into complex topics, do you have a preferred way of learning, like reading, watching videos, hands-on practice, or discussion with peers? So what, what's my learning style? And I went through all these things and unpacked them all. You can see my answers are quite long. I'm not going to read them. I'm just kind of quickly scrolling through them because all I am is dictating. I would take a, a chunk of questions at a time and then just start answering them verbally as if somebody had asked me in person. And I'm like, okay. And I would read the question back and be like, here's how I think about that. And I would take it in groups of five because for some reason, whenever you're dictating, you don't want to go over about five minutes. It's kind of like, for some reason, I know it errors out at like seven plus minutes. So I try to keep the, the text from short shorter than than about around five minutes is safe so i would do it in chunks each time i gave it a big chunk of stuff you see these are really long answers and it would come through and update the memory based on the answer you see memory updated it would come through and actually create a small smaller snippet of what i gave it would summarize it for itself to remember later so it's very smart and i could tell you like the answers i gave were robust thorough and and very thoughtful it now is armed with so much more information about me in order to produce better content and outputs and ans better answers to my questions moving forward so take this prompt put it into chat gpt give it a try for yourself and i'd love to hear if the questions it gave you back were meaningful and inspired a good dialogue in order for you to like essentially educate your your ai assistant here on how to serve you better let me know. Hit me up on linkedin.com slash in slash digital marketing Dan and shoot me a DM. I, I accept generally almost every connection request that comes in. And if you didn't know, I have a newsletter. Yes, there is a newsletter for this podcast where I'm summarizing news coming out from the AI world and kind of like 
unhyping it for just the stuff that marketers need to go. Go to news.aidrivenmarketer.com and subscribe today. I am packing it every single week with, with that marketers need to know, not just AI hype, but all the things that are actually useful for marketers to consume and understand as the AI marketing landscape evolves over and over again. So go subscribe. It's news.aidrivenmarketer.com.